I'm Dr. Amita Nijhawan. I work as academic projects lead at the University of the Arts London. The University of the Arts London is a, is a group of six colleges to do with the arts and design industries. So I work especially to look at decolonization of the curriculum and pedagogy and to see how we can facilitate the development of student agency in decolonization. Decolonization, I guess, is a process uh, through which we try and look at the impact of colonialism on our education systems, our, the arts industries, our workplaces. At the moment, history is taught to make one group of people feel inferior and another group of people feel superior. And this has to stop. We need to a revolution! We must all work together towards a free and liberated education system. One that is decolonized and no longer centers knowledge solely produced in the West. You know, a lot of our university systems and education systems are uh, a Eurocentric tradition of uh, learning and teaching and working. So that means that we have a particular inherited way that we do things um, at university, in schools, in colleges. Um, and we've inherited that way and we kind of carry on doing it sort of year on year without examining it too much. So decolonization is a way to examine it and say, you know, these inherited traditions, uh, you know, that we've that we've passed on year on year. Can we do things a bit differently so that more people are seen and represented in the way we learn and in the way we teach? So one of the first things that people think of when we think of the word decolonization is this idea of interrogating those reading lists, those examples that we use in our classrooms and studios. So, uh, for example, if you look at the pre-Raphaelites, you know, they were so influenced by Asian art, Asian prints, Asian screen making, um, Asian uh, sort of colours, dual colours, you know, in, in their work. Okay, you look at the dance curriculum, we learn Martha Graham technique or we learn Cunningham technique. Those techniques are taken as modern dance and they're taken as coming from Europe, Europe and North America. But uh, there are scholars who have studied the African and Asian influences that actually go into that, that technique in the first place. So in fact, even in, even in the history of certain techniques and skills that we take as European or North American, uh, there, are, there are histories where you know, Asian, African, South American influences are already embedded. So the idea of decolonizing is really to uh, try and diversify and globalize perhaps the techniques, the skills, the curriculum, the, the, you know, the, the scholarly work, uh, you know, where does it come from? All of those questions.